Hey everybody, it's a special episode of Tatemeister here. And we, me, Pluma Baba, and today we'll be talking about The Walking Dead. Hope you're all excited. Alright. Hi everybody, it's me, the Tatemeister, back with another exciting video. Yay! Oh, holy shit, I literally just watched The Walking Dead season premiere, and oh my god. That's literally, that's all I'm gonna be talking about in this vlog, is just that fucking season premiere. Oh my god, like... <laughs> I, I'm simply blown away. Holy shit, like, I don't even know anymore. I just, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> like, from beginning to end, it was like, from beginning to end, it was just, wow. Um, I really thought they, I didn't know they were going to pull that shit off. I thought they were going to. Oh my god, I, I just can't believe that they pulled it off. They fucking pulled it off. It was amazing. Holy shit, like... <laughs> As always, what do you expect? It's the best show on television, The Walking Dead. Like, come on. What did I expect? Obviously, it was gonna be fucking badass. Like, holy shit, but... Okay, I'm not trying to spoil it, so spoilers ahead. I'm not trying to spoil it, but for people that haven't watched the season premiere yet, please do stop watching the video, because I might spoil it a bit. I don't mean to. Sorry, I, I'm just really excited. Okay, so let's recap here. All right, so spoiler alert. Sorry, if you don't want to get spoiled, don't watch the video. I just wanted to talk about it because I'm just, I just can't get over it. Okay, so Negan returned in the season premiere. Oh boy. We resumed what, what would happen. And uh, yeah, pretty intense, I say. Yeah, I mean. What do you expect? It's The Walking Dead. I mean, duh, it's gonna be pretty intense. Uh, okay. Point being, yeah, it was pretty fucking intense. Um, ah, uh, shit, let me put the light down here. Okay. That better? Alright. Um, point being, it was pretty intense. Uh, I mean, it's, it's supposed to be, it's The Walking Dead. What did I expect? Hmm. But yeah, it was a fucking amazing episode overall. Like, it was the best season premiere they ever did. Holy fuck, like, I did, I, <laughs> I already knew it was the Abraham and Glenn, so, I mean, you know, I, I mean, Daryl almost got fucked up, though, like, he shouldn't have fucking attacked, like, and now he's gonna blame himself, because now Glenn died, because he had to do, he just tried to attack, so, great, but, it wasn't really his fault, though, but still, I mean, <sighs> it was Negan's fault, but, you know, <sighs> Boy being like it was just crazy the whole way they did it was crazy like oh my god it was perfect they, they could have done it better any other way it, it was perfect the way it was like i really enjoyed it i really really enjoyed it it was awesome like holy shit and a lot of people didn't catch this now a lot of people don't know that negan constantly breaks the fourth wall and if you catch if you if you can catch it he breaks it a lot and I didn't think he was going to do it this season premiere. I, I thought it was going to be a super serious episode that he, was, he wasn't going to break the fourth wall. He was just going to be Negan. But, uh... <laughs> he broke the fourth wall. I kind of fucking figured he would. All right, so... We all know that Glenn... I already told you, Glenn died. Who whooped he fucking do? I already expected that. All right, so... But what happened was, after Daryl tried to attack, after Abraham got killed... Um, yeah. Abraham got killed. I mean, we get that. And then after Abraham got killed, then fucking Daryl tried to attack. And then Negan, um, Negan was like, uh, fuck that. But he apparently didn't kill Daryl, which is really, I'm really happy about. I did not want him to die. That would have been total craziness. I think everybody would stop watching the show. But anyway, so after Daryl attacked, Negan's like, all right, I already told you. We don't put up with shit. I'm a man of my word. And so he decides to be like, all right, let's continue. Then he smacks Glenn on the fucking head. And it was even worse looking than the way Abraham got smacked on the fucking head. I mean, it was exactly the way he looked in the comic. The eye popping out and shit. I was like, oh my god. Like, what? And then, of course, Negan had to say his famous fourth break, wall breaking line to the fucking audience. He turned at the camera and he said, yeah, um, sorry. I know you're all mad, but, uh, no exceptions. And he presumes to, presumes to swing... <laughs> His bat again, against Glenn again, and hit him a second time, so. Thanks, Negan. Thanks for breaking the fourth wall there. 
Um, <laughs> you made the episode even more enjoyable than it already was. Like, that was fucking intense, funny. I mean, Negan, even though he's a psychopath, it's just funny that he knows that he's in a fictional world. Like, it's just funny because... I don't even know how Negan knows that, but for some fucking reason, he knows he's in a fictional world, and it's just how we don't know how. Apparently, he—I know everybody knows that Negan is the smartest character in Walking Dead. I mean, you saw what happened. Negan literally fucking outsmarted all their asses. They couldn't do shit. They couldn't escape. It was over. It, it was over before it began. Like Negan outsmarted their ass clean. There was no way they could have gotten away. But point being. Negan is literally, they say Negan has an IQ of like 200 and something. I mean, Negan is not your average Joe. I mean, he may be a psycho, but he's extremely intelligent. So, I mean, I guess with that insane amount of intelligence, Negan must know, I guess, that he's in a fictional world with that amount of intelligence he has because he's a psycho, so he thinks he's in a fictional world. I guess that's probably why. I don't fucking know. That's my explanation behind it, but, you know, Negan is like the best fucking, like, Oh my god, like the second best villain ever after the Joker. I'm sorry. Negan is like an awesome villain because of the fact that, you know, he always seems to outsmart their ass no matter what. Like, even after he was beaten in the comics, he still got out of jail and outsmarted them then. So, it's like they just can't ever beat him. Like, he's fucking Negan. Like, oh my god. Negan is just a fucking boss. There's no denying it. I'm sorry. Everybody hates him right now for killing Glenn and Abraham. But you'll see just how fucking awesome Negan is, actually is. He's a scary dude, but holy shit, for rightfully so, he's a fucking boss. Like, oh my god. I mean, I'm just, I'm so glad Jeffrey Dean Morgan is playing. That is the perfect guy to play Negan. I'm sorry. Like, I don't think any, I can't really imagine anybody else playing him now because, I mean, you know, I... It's just, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's Negan was, like, perk on spot. Like, it was fucking awesome. I loved it. But, you know. And this is just the first episode. The re There's, what, 15 more episodes of this season now? Well, we're only going to get eight the first time. But still, I mean, that's crazy. We got a bunch of more episodes to watch here. And oh, my God. Like, it's all filled with Negan. Oh, my God. All Negan. I'm just excited. I I'm really excited to see what Negan's going to do this season. Like, oh, my God. If you watch the the opening credits, you see now that Jeffrey Dean Morgan is part of the main cast now, so that's pretty fucking cool. Like in season six, he wasn't because that was his only appearance was the very end. But now he's the main he's in the main cast. That's pretty fucking cool. I mean, I'm really happy about that. Although I'm guessing the second episode is gonna be different now that Steve and Ewan and Michael, whatever his name is, the guy that played Abraham, now that they're gone, the, the credits are gonna be different. So I guess Jeffrey Dean Morgan's gonna be replacing their spot, but. Because he killed them, that makes sense. But he, I guess he can replace Glenn, Glenn's spot. But what I'm saying is, like, it's just, wow. Like, like in, talk, in Talking Dead tonight, they were literally just talking about how Negan was, like, the ship in the fucking story. It was, like, before Negan and after Negan. <laughs> literally, that's what Chris in, on Talking Dead said. He was, like, yeah, this was the ship. Like, everything before Negan... And everything after Negan. Negan was like, like the way, like BC and AD. That's was like Negan. Negan was like the, the big, change that the sh the the comics had, and now the show is like that now too. So, I'm just I'm really excited to see what what's gonna happen. I mean, holy shit! Like, and that's just the season premiere. That's just the first episode. Like, oh my god, I can already tell this season's gonna be fucking awesome. Like, holy shit! Like. The hype is fucking real, like, oh my god, like, when Negan, a fucking psycho badass that fucking breaks the fourth wall all the time, we got fucking, uh, the, is King Ezekiel a fucking badass with a fucking tiger, and it's just like, I don't even know what, I'm like, here, I don't even know what's going on anymore, I'm exactly like her, I don't even know, this is fucking crazy, like, what is going on, <laughs> Then this show can, it just keeps getting better. I, did, I don't know. It's like, oh my god. Like, I mean, holy shit. I'm just, I'm so happy Negan finally showed up. Now it's finally going to get really good. I mean, the show was already amazing. But now that Negan's here, it's, it's going to get, it's really amazing now. It's, it's perfect. Uh, it's everything I envisioned Walking Dead was going to be. And, oh my god. It's, it's the best show ever. I'm sorry. Yeah, I like it better than Lost. I like it better than Game of Thrones. I like it better than fucking everything. Ever, now that Negan's in it, it's official. It's my favorite show. I'm sorry. Negan is the best villain 
the second best villain of all time. Next to the Joker, he pretty much is equal to the Joker. Negan is the shit. I'm sorry. He's just, oh my god, he's fucking awesome. It's, it's like if Deadpool didn't have superpowers and he went complete psycho, that's what um, Negan is. I mean, holy shit. He plays games. He, I mean, he's like the Joker. I, I, I don't even know. Like, he's just a mix of things. He's his own thing. He's Negan. Like, he, <laughs> just Negan. He doesn't have, he's not like the Joker. He's not like Deadpool. He's just Negan. That's it. I mean, he's just so much different than them, but at the same time, similar. He's like the fourth wall breaking at Deadpool mixed with the games and shit, like the Joker and Twisted Nits. So it's like, I, I don't know. Negan's just fucking awesome. Like, everybody hates him right now because of what he did and how gruesome he is and all that. But once they actually see how awesome Negan is and how what power he possessed and all that, I mean, yeah. Jeopardy Morgan is like, oh my god, I'm just so glad. He's like the best actor, and it's like, oh my god. It's, it's like Keith Ledger was for the Joker. I mean, Jeff D. Morgan's like the perfect guy to play him. Nobody else could play him. He, he, it's perfect. I mean, it really is perfect. It really, really is perfect. Really, really is perfect. <laughs> anyway, so. All right, guys. I'm going to have to end the video there. I don't really have much else to talk about. But in other words, the episode was amazing from beginning to end. The actors did a stupendous job. Like, oh, my God. That was the best acting performance out of all the episodes of Walking Dead I've seen. That was literally... The best acting scene oh, of all of like of the every t any TV show ever. You can compare that to any that acting was like on fucking point. Like oh my god! <laughs> like, I mean Jeffrey, uh, every one of them. It was like the bomb. I mean I just can't get over it. Like it just was fucking crazy. And that was the season premiere. That was just the season premiere. It's only going to get better from here. That's only the beginning, my friends. It's only the beginning. Like, oh my god. I I, I don't I can't even get over it. It's just amazing. I just I can't get over it. But I'm going to have the end I'm going to have the end vlog there. I, I just that the episode. I just want to talk about it cuz that episode was the fucking shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse my language, but oh my god, like uh, I just cannot believe that Walking Dead is that amazing. Like, the comic books were amazing, but I literally think the show is better than the fucking comics. Like, how, oh, what? like, how is that even possible? Usually, if things are based off the comics. Usually, they're not as good as the comics. But in this instance, the show is literally better than the comics. Like, what? I mean, even the Marvel movies, as amazing as the Marvel movies are, they aren't as really good as the comics. But the Walking Dead show is better than the comics like what that's just crazy like they well then again it is produced by the guy that made the comics so it makes sense that why it's so good but still like holy shit like i just cannot believe that the fucking show is so amazing like i mean the, the comics were amazing but this show is just it's like game of thrones was for if game of thrones was better than the books the tv show was better than the books that's like this was for well, the, the comics it's better than the comics and it's like, I don't understand. I mean, adding Simon and Daryl into the, into the show was awesome. They're, they're awesome characters. But, I mean, Trev, Trevor from, well, from Grand Theft Auto playing Simon, that's pretty fucking cool. Like, come on. Who's going to complain about that? That's pretty cool. But, I mean, holy shit. This is just crazy. Like, but that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, that was my vlog for today. I don't know what the next vlog's going to be, but, uh, yeah. I'm really excited. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make any new videos. I was going to make a new video called... Uh, what's it called? Um, Negan Meets the Looney Tunes or whatever. I thought that'd be funny or, or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just brainstorming ideas. But point being, I'm, I will make some cool videos soon. I don't know when, but uh, maybe when I get some free time. I barely have that anymore, so when I do make a video, it's a pretty much a miracle that I'm even making this. Like, I always either forget or I have, I'm busy or, like, there's always some problem. I never really get time to make a video. So when I do make a video, yeah, you better be happy. So um, thank you for watching, and, uh, yeah, I really appreciate you all staying subscribed to me, uh, watching my videos, all that. And I'm really excited for the next episode of Walking Dead. Holy shit, that was awesome.
I mean, who's going to argue with me there? That episode was fucking boss, but, uh, yeah. It was awesome. It was just fucking awesome. <laughs> what else can I say about it? So thank you all for watching. Uh, stay subscribed. Get more subscribers to subscribe to me. And, yeah, thank you for watching the Tatum Ice Star YouTube channel. Yeah, awesome. All right, bye, fucking retards.